Hey everybody, this is Robert from Black Belt Gaming. I just got in from teaching, so it's good to sit down for a little bit. This is my November 2015 channel update. What you're seeing here is some uh, footage from a game I recently purchased. It's called Warhammer End Times Vermintide. Uh, the key word there, Vermintide, it's about these vermin, these uh, rat men, trying to swarm the city and the sewers here. We're trying to clear out a path through the sewers. I'm playing the dwarf. Got my uh, big two-handed hammer here. <clears throat> I'm accompanied by a uh, fire mage, a human uh, empire fighter, and then a, an elven archer. And we're going to see if we can make it through this adventure. Um, Warhammer. That brings me to the first part I wanted to talk about on my uh, channel. So, sort of looking ahead as far as future projects. I sort of started to dip my toe into the Warhammer universe uh, because it's new to me. And I, I did that with the uh, RPG, third edition uh, role-playing game of Warhammer Fantasy from um, Fantasy Flight Games. And it was new to me. The setting was new. The, the, the dice mechanics were new. And it was a bit uh, difficult for me to get into as easily as I could or as some of the others. Like the Marvel game I could get into quickly because I was more familiar with the characters. And then the Star Wars game I could get into uh, a little faster because I was very familiar with the setting. Uh, Warhammer is new uh, to me. It's it, you know it kind of looks like a generic fantasy thing, but it does have its own feel. Uh, it's a little darker, a little grittier, and um, I'm interested to learn more about it. So some people have said that the RPG is dead, and that's. I don't think that's exactly right. It is still in print. In fact, the core set for uh, from Fantasy Flight Games is being at uh, it's at the printer right now. It's last time I checked, so um, it's still being published. They're just not putting out any more content for it. So it's kind of like a, a a board game that's just not going to have any more expansions. They want you to enjoy everything they've put out, and they put out quite a bit for it. So I want to cover some more of that uh, on my channel because I'm interested in learning it and this is uh, a, a YouTube channel about my hobbies. Along with uh, learning the Warhammer role-playing game, there's also an upcoming uh, card game, I believe it is, Warhammer Quest the Adventure card game. It's a new one, I don't think it's out yet, but that's one I do want to pick up and try. And so uh, this game that I'm playing now is kind of my first look at Warhammer Fantasy Roleplay, and I kind of like this introduction here. This game is pretty fun. It's kind of like Left 4 Dead, if you've ever played that. And anyway, that's, that's on the horizon. Star Wars. Um, we've got the new movie coming out. I've expanded my library a little bit. I've picked up Age of Rebellion and Force and Destiny. And I would like to cover some more Star Wars uh, RPG content. And then I've got one of the board games for Star Wars that I haven't um, I haven't even really tried at all yet. And that is Imperial Assault. We've played Descent together um, on my on my channel and, and through uh, Facebook. Could that be done with Imperial Assault? I don't know. Um, and then back a while ago, I did some solo play of Mansions of Madness. Could we do that as well? So there may be some other of these uh, board games, Star Wars, Mansions of Madness, and others that we could play, as well as Descent, uh, with each other uh, through the, uh, the Internet. So Imperial Assault board game and the Star Wars RPG is also some more things I'd like to cover. Um, what else have I got? 
Dungeons and Dragons. I've had requests for more D&D uh, &D content, and I'm glad to do that. I'll still keep talking about first edition AD&D, which uh, is the game that is very close to me. That was the one that got me into RPGs and and really any kind of serious gaming. And fifth edition, it's the current edition out. And I've had some requests to do some more play. So there's plenty of people out there discussing Dungeons and Dragons 5th edition. There's plenty of channels where groups are playing together and you can see the social interaction between the players uh, during the game. Podcasts doing the same. What you're going to see on my channel is more of a, a study of, of how the game works and so I'm going to be running some uh, encounters and going through some even some adventures. Um, and I might be using, for the visuals for my channel, some of the components from the board games. And I've done a little bit of that already, but I'm looking forward to doing some more. So it's kind of a neat way to tie in your, your two different hobbies, your board game hobby and the RPG hobby. So more uh, Dungeons and Dragons, as well as I'd like to continue on through my adventures in the Temple of Elemental Evil and see some more about that game and how it's different from Wrath of Ashardalon and Castle Ravenloft and the others. So D&D, Star Wars, Warhammer, those are pretty big sets of games there, both board games and RPGs. I do have some other board and card games that I haven't yet covered and would like to. Um, Legendary Encounters Aliens, I, I have that and I'm really excited to try that. I haven't I haven't done that yet. Uh, the Pathfinder card game. I haven't. I haven't done that yet. Uh, and I do own it. Um, another one I've got. Uh, oh, it's escaping me at the moment. Oh yes, Dead of Winter. Uh, I know that's been covered so much. And I haven't played it yet, and I really want to. So um, that's another one I'm. I'm looking forward to teaching myself how to play. So, lots of uh, games to enjoy. Other RPGs. Uh, th there's even some uh, actually truly dead RPGs I would like to give a little bit of time on my, on my channel. Uh, just to sort of introduce them to you and share some memories from those. Things like uh, First Edition, uh, Legends of the Five Rings, and uh, Alternity, the Star Drive setting, um, even some different editions of D&D that are now out of print, as well as some uh, different takes on D&D, like Castles and Crusades. So there's, there's just a ton of stuff. Um, it's been difficult. Uh, it's been over a month since I've done my last video, and a couple of reasons for that. Number one, I've been under the weather. Uh, first, it was just a cold. Actually, as I was in the school, uh, I was in the dojo, tying the belt of some of my young students, and they were just coughing and sneezing right in my face. So I ended up picking up their cold. And then right after that, I got a sinus infection that n really hit me hard for a couple of weeks. That's kind of been going on. Uh, I've picked up s uh, some extra classes one I'm offering at my school, uh, introducing people to English conversation. It gets kind of a starter class. And the other is at the uh, local university here in Japan. I am teaching um, martial arts history and philosophy there at the university. And uh, that's also taken up some, some more of my time. All Those classes are all in addition to my normal workload. And another exciting thing that's happened that has kept me busy recently is uh, I've had my school here in Japan and running it since 2009. And I just promoted my very first set of black belts. So uh, two black belts were promoted uh, late last month and they just received their belts and certificates this month. So that was a big deal. Um, they're absolutely thrilled they worked really hard for it 
and as their teacher, it just means the world to me too. They they really worked for it and earned it. So uh, that's the best way to do it, right? So congratulations to them. And uh, anyway, I hope everyone is doing well. And I'm looking forward to gaming some more with you soon. Things are looking bad for my dwarf here in the Warhammer game. That's a rattling gunner. He's got some kind of big gun strapped to his back. And he's firing off these shots. My comrades are down. I'm stuck in the corner, low on health, no way out. Don't have time to bandage my wounds and uh, running out of stamina to block all of these attacks. defeat. Anyway, this is a neat game if you want to check it out. Um, I think Fat Shark is the publisher. And uh, sort of a last question here. I just wanted to know from you guys what brought you to my channel. Was it, I doubt it was video games. Was it uh, board gaming, role playing games, and maybe what game in particular and what kind of games you'd want to see more of. So thanks for watching.